everybody, it's Stacy with Diamond Painting with Stacy. Um, I know I haven't done a good diamond painting video in a while. That is coming because I have another floss tube today, a short one. Um, I've got some new um what is that? Hold on a minute. Something fell. Oh, um, I've got some new acquisitions. Um new new patterns and stuff to show you and just a couple of things that I've worked on um so I'll start with what I've worked on so if you're new to the channel I hope you subscribe um I'm still building my channel um I hope you like what I do I do both cross stitch and diamond painting if you haven't figured that out um so um, if you're wondering about my hair, I have autoimmune disease. I had a liver transplant and I lost most of my hair. It is coming back slowly but surely. Um, but hopefully one of these days it'll come back all the way. So I'm going to start with Love Letters Chocolate Shop. This is a heaven and earth design. Um, <coughs> I had originally started two of them. And I was doing the um, parking method, row by row parking method. Um, not royal rows, but just row by row. And I didn't like it. I thought that it would be easier since it was my first time doing a full coverage that it would be better for me to do it that way. I actually prefer cross country. Um, I don't go way cross country, but um, you know, within a few square radius, I'll do cross country until I get better at it. So here's what it looks like when it's done. It is the mini. All right. And this is where I'm at. So um, almost halfway across the top maybe yeah almost i got maybe three or four squares and then i'm halfway across the top i don't i haven't decided i think i'm going to fill in this and then move my q snap over and then do whatever is in that and then you know just move it that way um i don't want to be moving it around too much but that's where i'm at on that it up so I restarted it obviously cross country and that's since my last video so I, I don't remember when I did the last video I'm also working on the March Quaker I've done January and February I've showed you those the only thing I have left to do is finishing this motif I've got Let me look. Yeah, just a couple of little things here and then the bottom, the, the vase or whatever, and this motif here. That's all I've got left to do. And maybe this down here in the corner. No, I think I did that. Yeah, no. I'm looking at it. I think I have these two little ones right here to do. And then... I, but I've done this flower, so. I'm not gonna move it out of my cue snap, but you can see that I've got the whole top done. So I have the two that go here and then the little triangle thing here or down here further because this comes down. Oh, maybe I've got it upside down. No, I don't. It's not upside down. Yeah. Okay. So that's where I'm at on that one. I started this early, but then I was got busy on my full coverage and um, doing other things, and I just didn't didn't get into it. So new acquisitions here. Let me see. I know I'm, I think I'm missing one. Oh, I already showed that one to you. Okay. I'm in part of the Fabulous House series. 
I've showed you the first three. I've gotten the first three. I've got four and five. So here's four. These are by Cottage Garden Samplings. There's four. There's five. It's a tree house. I love this one. I think this one might be my favorite one. Because I love the tree. And then I got Quaker Christmas too. Now this is another big one. I don't know when I'll be starting this one, but I really, really wanted it. So, and, and I'm, I've am i got a list of ones that I want and I'm just getting them a little bit at a time, even though I'm just building up a stash. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm so in love with this pattern. Now I went through cr like craziness trying to get this one. UPS, USPS lost it the first time. And then it got stuck in another city for weeks the second time he sent it. And finally, the third time he sent it, I got it. So the man had to send them to me three times in order for me to get it. But I finally got it. I will definitely, he was has a shop on Etsy. It's Jim's Needlework. I will definitely um, patronize his, his um, business again because he was, you know, so nice to try to get it to me that many times. You know, the poor thing. And then I got the new um, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. And I'm trying to, I never took it out of the plastic. So I'm gonna try to pull it out of the plastic. There we go. Let's flip through it. See what it looks like. Here's the front. I don't know if you've seen it yet or not, but it's the spring edition. Look at the little bunny rabbit with the cart. Isn't that so cute? Let's look. Hmm. So that's just that pillow. And we already saw that. We saw the, bu oh, the bunny with the duckling. There's a bigger picture of that bottom one. Oh, that is precious. The chicks in the, in the thing. doesn't really have a good pattern. Oh, it's a transfer. It's punch needle. That's why. Duh, Stacy. Oh, wow. I'm not going to show that one because it shows too much of the, the pattern. That's punch needle. There's this pillow. It says, the flowers that bloom in the spring breathe promise of merry sunshine. So cute. That's punch needle. The punch needles are cute. It's just not something that I'm interested in getting into. Um, my mom used to do punch needle as when I was a child. Um, and, um, I remember doing it a few times as a kid, but, um, it's a cute pattern. I just, I never could get into it. It wasn't my thing. That'd be cute for a kid, for a little girl. What's that? Oh, wait a minute, that's punch needle. That looks like cross stitch. No, that's cross stitch. This, let me put it this way so that you can't see the other punch needle, but that's cross stitch. Also cute, love birds it looks like. It says Birds in Love. That's the name of it. Punch needle. I don't like that. I guess I'm only showing you the stuff I think is cute. <laughs> I don't like that. These are worth getting. They've all got 
patterns in them that are just so cute. It's adorable. I'm gonna get a sewing machine. I had a sewing machine. My mom got it for me for Christmas or my birthday. And it was brand new and it stopped on me and Walmart would not replace it because I didn't have a receipt and it was an expensive item. Even though it was brand new, they acted like it wasn't. And um, I'm gonna get another one and I wanna learn how to make these pillows and stuff to finish small projects. Cause I would, I'm interested, I'm not interested in doing the um, the monthly Quaker into pillows just because I want, it would be too much to store them and only, you know, um, put one month out at a time. But I will eventually figure out how I want to, to do those. Be easier to frame them. That's it. Yep, that's it for that. So that's all, everything that I have. Um, I am going to be doing a um, diamond painting video because it has been a long time since I've done one. And um, I know that that is the main focus of my channel is typically, oh man, typically, um, diamond painting that's that's normally what I do and so I need to get I'm sorry I just did something I shouldn't have I just laid paper on my diamond painting and I'm gonna have to pick it off and hope that it'll stay sticky yeah it's staying sticky all right I'll work on that in a minute <laughs> I can't believe I did that um so anyways that's it for today um I hope you enjoyed it um, if you have any patterns you think I'd like, send them in the comments below. Let me know how you've been doing in the comments below. How's the weather in the comments below? It's How happy are you for spring? Um, I'm not looking forward to summer so much because I live in Florida. Um, and it does get, everybody knows Florida gets too hot. But we'll see. All right, everybody have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.